as with everything with the FARC, we cannot confirm the authenticity of this video, although it appears to be genuine. It starts with the movement, a rebel leader known as Timoshenko, saying that they are ready for these peace negotiations and that they enter into the talks without resentment or arrogance. And then, as you've seen, something really weird happens. We start seeing this, this very catchy, actually, um, rap song. Uh, we see some rebel fighters dressed in the FARC um, rebel clothes, so in their uniforms, singing this song, um, talking about the history of the movement, talking about the past leaders, talking about the issues that they want to bring to the table. I think the video, apart from being a very catchy song, as you can hear, is full of symbolisms. Um, actually, at the end of the song, we see the same musicians talking about, well, the video is called Nos Vamos para La Habana, or We're Going to Havana, in reference as to where these talks have been brokered. And then at the end of the video, we see the, 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 the singers, or we see these rebel fighters dressed in plain clothes, even wearing Che Guevara t-shirts, again, in reference to where the, the, peace, um, the, the, the preliminary talks have been taking place, which is in Cuba, Havana. We see them at the end of the video, as I was saying, waving goodbye as if they were going on route to peace on their way to Havana. So it's, yeah, very unusual indeed. Lilia, just briefly, how important could these peace talks be? Well, I think the peace talks um, could be really relevant, but again, let's remind our viewers that, you know, this is still, people in Colombia are still very skeptical. The Colombian press has even branded this video as a political manifesto. But the last peace talks um, failed 10 years ago, and, you know, the FARC, the FARC has been fighting, there has been um, heavy fighting. Um, many of their leaders have been killed in the past year. So I think, as this video suggests, and as analysts are saying, you know, this could be a really relevant time for the FARC and the Colombian government. But again, we have to be very sceptical.